Why am I so passionate about time? Well, I've had three separate instances happen in my life. One, very specifically, was building a business along with an amazing team over the years, but being a part of a journey from 17 to 30, where you know I started in an arbitrage business in the grocery industry. And by the time I was 30 years old, you know, I was sitting on top of a $1.8 billion a year annual sales company, just buying and selling truckloads of groceries. And shortly after my 30th birthday, walked out of there. And over the course of the next two years, literally lost every Every single dollar I had ever made. I'd gone through a divorce. All my friends, all my connections were tied up in this organization. And so in the process of it all burn or my life burning to the ground, no friends, nobody to really to turn to. It was the worst, most horrific experience of my life. And they call it humbling would be putting it mildly. It was devastating. I mean, I was suicidal when I lost everything. And that 22 month period, I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. Ironically, I look back on it now as the best thing that ever happened to me. But when you realize all the time and effort and energy that you invest into building something and then that's how fast it can go away. And you do it all at the at the expense of your family. You do it at the expense of real relationships and all the, and never taking a vacation and never really collecting moments and never really pouring yourself into soaking up life. You realize just how precious time really is. And that if you can construct a business, design a life, do things in an intentional way, you can actually have the best of both because you can be a very successful business person while also paying attention to the things that really matter in life. And that is getting to spend time the way you want to spend it. Now, you may equally, you know, look up and say, hey man, the way I love spending time is in business. That's fine. But it's the difference between having a choice and not having a choice. And so time is what it is all about. I'll share a couple more with you. You know, and shortly after that, I, I had my mentor many years later. This was uh, about 10 years later. My mentor, a man that I loved deeply, that I really respected, my my uncle. Uh, he was a very, very successful man inside of the travel industry. He had spent his entire life traveling all over the world, building an empire, building an amazing reputation, taking care of everybody else. But he kind of did it all away from his family. And, you know, shortly after he retired, unfortunately, he got diagnosed with a, a form of cancer. Uh, he'd worked his entire life to retire at the age of 60 and um, you know had millions and millions of dollars in the bank and was now looking forward had kind of this delayed gratification you know I'm gonna go and sacrifice time with my family I'm gonna go put the business first I'm gonna do all these things and when I turn 60 I'll, I'll eventually get to enjoy all this and as fate would have it you know when we turned 60 got diagnosed with cancer and I'll never forget in October I got called and I was in Delray Beach Florida and he was in Daytona Beach Florida and he was hooked up to a respirator and was going to die and my mother was was on the phone and she was telling me I needed to get to Daytona Beach as fast as I possibly could because he was about to go and he was asking for me. And so that's a very long five hour drive up the Florida Turnpike. I'm going as fast as I possibly can to get there in hopes that I'm there in time. I'm getting phone calls. I'm getting texts. Hurry, 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 hurry. And I get there just in time to walk in and he's got a whiteboard that he is uh, communicating with and he basically says, celebrate my life. I just wish my I had more time and died shortly thereafter. And I'll never forget the profound effect that had on me, that here's somebody I had the most respect for, that I was literally trying to model my business life after. I mean, he was everything. I, he was a god to me and had millions and millions of dollars in the bank and worked so hard to do it and sacrificed so much. And in his final moments, all that money and all that goodwill couldn't get him the one thing he wanted, which was one more minute, one more day, one more week, one more year. Couldn't do any of it. And what a shame right? To sit there and work so hard and to, and to never collect the moments and the memories along the time with your family and friends and be able to just bake in your success. He never got any of that. And I knew right then I never wanted that right then that everything was going to change, that I was going to restructure my business and restructure my life and make it much more focused on the moments, the moments that matter and put the business in a place to where I had all the right people and leverage and systems in place where I got to spend the time as a dedicated father and husband and friend and son and do the things that really mattered versus always putting that off and telling myself, oh, I'm just building this business and I'm doing it all for them. And one day they're all going to understand why I'm working so hard. That's the bullshit we tell ourselves to justify mediocrity. That is not right.